All right, this is Desmond Butts, and uh, we're going to be doing another uh, mini lathe project. And of course, it's Texas, it's September, and it's raining again. Anyway, we'll get on to it. We're going to be making uh, some special adapter tools for an indexing system and also to have an extension for a uh, tool drill holder that I made. So, let's get to work. Here we have some bits and pieces. Got a brass piece of pipe here. Got a drill tap. Stainless steel screws, a couple of long screws. And what are we going to do with these? Uh, I'm going to use this brass pipe. I'm going to split it. And uh, it's going to connect through the center tube on the lathe for an indexing tool. Okay, this is a very simple tool post drill. Now what I did is I used my quick change um, boring bar holder. And it's for a 250 series quick change. And uh, the boring bar holder number, you can see there's 250-004. It just so happens to have the exact diameter of hole that I needed for this little uh, tool post drill project. Right there, 3 8 I believe is the uh, diameter. This is drill rod that I cut down and I tapped to put on this small Jacobs chuck that I picked up for like, I think it was about 15 bucks on eBay, brand new. So you can see what I did here a little bit and I'll kind of describe it a little bit uh, more in detail. The normal quick change part of the tool post here actually goes right here on the cross slide and compound okay what I did is I uh, of course took that off I had a little bit of uh, about quarter inch steel sitting around in scrap so I cut this down this way and put another thinner piece it's probably like a 3 16 or so off to the side this gives me a little bit of clearance because otherwise the holders too close to here to the working stock right here. So this is just purely an example and I was centering the uh, drill this way on it. But it kind of gives you a little bit of clearance so I can put a bit in now and I can use it to uh, go ahead and uh, line up with the stock. Now, I will show a clip of how I squared this off really easily. It's a little bit simpler than uh, most people would do, but I just line the square up to the side of the chuck and the other part right here, and then it gives this completely square to the work. Now, if you want to, you can also back this up like this, and then you can run the square from here to the work, and you can do it that way. And uh, let me show you real fast what that might look like real quick. Okay, there you go. That would be squaring it up to the work. But, you know, if it's square to the chuck, it's going to be square to the work, or at least you hope so. If it's not, you got other problems going on if it's not square like that. So, anyway, this is square right now to the work that way, just by doing it simple like that. Really fast, down and dirty, but it works very effectively. So, again, I'm just showing the how sturdy, you know, this is pretty sturdy. This whole setup, I'm moving it back here. It's really not moving much. It's, it's pretty good on there. Works quite well. 
All right, now to make sure I get the holes drilled correctly here when I'm uh, turning the, uh, the chuck, I need an indexer. And uh, that's going to be another project. I'm going to start with this piece of brass pipe, and it's going to go in the end tube here, and I'll kind of explain a little bit more about that in a different video, so look for it. It's going to be uh, Microlex Mini Lathe uh, indexing tool. So we'll, we'll work on that next. Okay, now this shows the setup back the way it would originally be. However, this is for doing some special end type drilling. If you have a piece of uh, stock in here that you're working on, you can turn it and uh, make sure that um, you've got wherever you need the hole drilled, and this will drill it on the outside edge center, wherever. You just adjust the depth by doing this. And of course, the height you adjust with this screw right here. Now this is the actual piece that I made as an adapter. As you can see, it needs to be underneath uh, where the plate goes that this rests upon because when you put a, a piece of steel across here, that raises this up. So you got to have this drop down to the original level. And if this is raised up and it goes underneath, then this will put it at the original level here so that everything works appropriately. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope this gives you some ideas on how to maybe make one of these very cost effectively for yourself. If you do have one of these quick uh, change type units here, this, these 250s for the mini lathe, that boring bar uh, insert there is exactly the size. So you don't have to make any special modifications. You'll just have to make the adapter plate so you can get the appropriate offset that you're going to need so you have clearance for the chuck to be able to do the drill holes on the side. All right. So this is Desmond Butts. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Like it. Subscribe. Share it. We much appreciate it. And happy milling. And happy work. Happy machining on your mini lathe. <clears throat> happy machining on your mini lathe.